Welcome to Rocky Mountain RV in Butte, Montana. My name is Barry Waddell and today we're going to be taking a look at the Wilderness Model 3150. This unit is fiberglass exterior, aluminum framed, with two inches of block foam insulation on the exterior, making it very suited for our climate up here in Montana. Nice pasture storage here. Now even the floor here, underneath where the bed would be, is going to be laminated with that polystyrene insulation. So if you have to leave this area open, you don't have to worry about having a cold spot on your back. This year they upgraded the door handles to a slam latch baggage handle. Large electric awning. Strut assist on the top of the entrance door. And again, this is a 3150 DS. DS stands for double slide. Now you'll have a slide in the bunk area in the back and a slide in the main area up front. Aluminum wheels, nice outside speakers, great outside kitchen. Now I did not think this would be a necessary thing for me. This was the first year I got an outside kitchen. Absolutely love it. Used it for everything. Did not, however, watch the TV out here. This door here, you're inch and a quarter thick with polystyrene insulation. Again, slam latch baggage handles. Little barbecue here. This little thing unfolds, barbecue mounts there. Mounts right underneath here where it says LP fitting. Attaches there so you don't have to worry about lugging a big barbecue with you. Outside shower, black tank flush. We'll do a quick look at this side of the trailer here, showing you those dual slides. Again, the small slide to your right is going to be for the bunk area. The large slide is going to be for your main living area. The other thing they did for fall of 2014 is, now this is a 2015 trailer, but they changed the exterior color. They went a little bit lighter, so you didn't have that tendency again in the heat during the day. Um, the old color over here, you can see them side by side. To the left is the new color, to the right is the old color. Um, now, my trailer was the old color, I didn't really notice the heat gain, but uh, it only makes sense that the lighter color is going to remain cooler. But let's take a look inside this trailer now. Alright, before we go in, I'll point out the steps. Uh, very nice non slip tread to these steps. A little bit of grip tape on the front end, so if you have little kids, a lot of them catch their heel on these things and slide off. You got grip tape here and then little traction ports there. Most of them are gonna come with a strut opener on the front door when they have the awning arm on the back side here. Of course, that's, if you have your door open, you're trying to use your awning open or close, you'd have a problem, so that's why they put that strut. Now, stepping in the trailer, you'll notice there are no ducts penetrated through the floor here. They'll actually come out the side of the trailer, or pardon me, the cabinets here. The reason they do that is to keep dirt from falling into the floor, and the floor is vacuum bonded. Nice plank look. Sofa sleeper is standard now. Neat little residential touches. And they have the uh, lights above the table here. Now this table does fold out into a um, bed as well. Nice little wall sconces. Back here into the bunk area. Nice little mattresses here, Give a little felt feel, the teddy bear line of mattresses. Now, TV hookup back here, um, what I did to my particular trailer, with the outside kitchen, not really being able to watch TV in the glare of the sun, I remounted it hit back here for my twins. Plenty of storage. This folds out into a queen size bed. Another little sleeper up here. More storage. Now these shelves will remove, so you can use this for dry goods, hanging, whatever you need. Stepping into the bathroom real quickly. Foot flush toilet. Nice sink. Skylight above the shower. Medicine cabinet. Very important, the door leading off the bathroom. 
very nice thing keeping take kids from tracking all the way through the trailer if they have to use the restroom. Ducted air conditioning in the ceiling. Great cabinet configuration. Um, the new fully auto refrigerator. Now this runs on electric and gas, but it, it does all the sensing inside by itself. If, uh, if you want to know how just to run that on gas without when you plug it in, it won't fire over to electric. Give me a jingle, I'll walk you through that. TV pivots, 180 degrees, uh, so you can watch it from the bedroom, or tip it where you have better viewing here when you're sitting on the couch. Very nice thing is the entrance on both sides. So if you do have a larger fella, like myself, he doesn't have to squeeze through that gap to get around to the other side of the bed. Uh, queen size mattress. Storage underneath the bed. Now that is going to be your little barbecue in the box there. And the piece of wood was for the table to fold that. Storage on both sides of the bed. Okay. Um, that is pretty much a look at this trailer here at Rocky Mountain RV. Again, the 3150 DS for double slide. And again, my name is Barry Waddell. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call at 1-800-822-1114. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to view this. Make sure to give me some comments. Uh, if I can change these things, make them any better for you guys, let me know. I appreciate it. Thank you.